Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 17th GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Paths dialog. Now, um, it's right here. Um, as you can see, there are these tabs. Up here, you can go to Undo History, the Paths dialog, and there's Color Channel stuff, which I actually haven't shown you yet. It's like, you know, it does stuff with colors. I'm just going to show you that later, but anyway. Um, the point is that... This paths dialog right here is really, really similar to the layers uh, dialog. So as you can see, if I go ahead and let's say I make um, this weird looking path right here, it's going to show up like a layer in the uh, uh, paths dialog. Um, now, um, as I told you that like um, before somewhere that uh, in last tutorial, I guess, that these two things are actually the same path, they're just different, uh, segments. Well, um, this is true because, look, um, this right here is a path, um, uh, but these two segments are in that path. If I make another path, it's gonna look like that, so that means, um, that this is actually the, um, same path right here. So anyway, uh, let's say I, like, switch over to another tool or something. Uh, you can change the visibility of the path, so... Um, look, uh, like right here, right, um, like the layers, um, you can do that, and it's going to make an outline, it'll just, I guess, I don't know which color it picks, but it'll pick one, and then it'll make an outline, um, you have to, if you want to work on a, uh, path, I think you have to select it too, so if I want to work on this path, I'll make it, like, right here, um, but then it's gonna make, it like, another, uh, path, so you have to do it while you're making it. Uh, let me see. Yes, you can um, merge visible paths if you want by right clicking. So if I make these two paths visible, it's going to merge it into one, so that might be helpful for you. Um, there's these things called locking. I'm going to tell you that in a second. What that does, you can right click on the name and name it uh, something. Um, there's a whole lot of things down here. You can make a new path. You can, uh, let me see. So if I have like some paths here, let's just say I have three of these things. Um, if I select this one, I can raise it in the stack of paths, or I can lower it. Um, now actually, this will do literally nothing. It is like, just for organization. So, you know, um, don't like waste your time clicking these buttons because it really doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, you can make a duplicate of this path if you want. It'll I'll make a copy of it and see as you can see. Uh, it picks different colors too. So um, you can actually um, make this path into a selection if you want. So if I do that, uh, it'll just make a selection on the path. And another thing that is really cool that I want to show you is um, this next thing. Selection to path. Now if I just select this path right here. Um, it's going to do a selection of path, and um, it's going to uh, bless you. Uh, someone sneezed. But anyway, the point is that uh, it's, you see how I clicked on it, and it keeps and it made another path. Well, that's what it um, does. It's a little different than layers. It won't work on that layer. Bless you. Um, I don't know. Someone might have the colds. But anyway. Uh, let me see. So yeah, so if you have like some really advanced um, stuff right here, you can actually make into a path if you want. So then another thing, uh, if you want to paint along the path, so just select none really quick. Um, this is actually the exact same thing as uh, stroking it, so it's just gonna, you know, make a oval or whatever you want. You can delete uh, the paths if you want, and I'm just gonna um, actually Control Z. So I don't have that ugly eclipse right there, or ellipse, el ellipse, eclipse, I don't even know the difference, but anyway, um, another thing you can do if you make a path, uh, if you right click, um, you can copy a path, now what this is going to do is it's going to actually like, um, it's gonna, how do I say it, it's gonna copy it to your clipboard, like, um, it's kind of the same as copy and pasting, but it's actually going to copy it to like a special clipboard, I think. 
called a um a paths clipboard. So if I like copy this path or something, um, and if I had another a uh, window open in GIMP, I could actually paste it into the uh, paths dialog by just you know uh, pasting it, I guess. Or I could do it here, I guess. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, it'll just copy and paste it. Um, but I don't think it's like normal copy and paste. Uh, might be, might not have an experiment with that. Another thing you can do is export uh, the path or import the path. Now this is for, um, you're probably never going to need to do this, uh, but you may, depending on who you are, I guess. Um, it's going to export path to SVG. Now what this means, an SVG file is like a .exe or a .gif or whatever, um, it's but it's specifically made for uh, vector graphics. Um, like, it's a lot different than uh, like bitmap graphics. Um, you know, like bitmap is basically pixels. Vector graphics are uh, like basically mathematical formulas that make shapes and they're very scalable. Um, I'm not going to tell you all about it right now. Uh, go research it on Wikipedia. It'll do a lot better than I can right now. But anyway, uh, the point is that, yeah, so if you would type in, you know, log.svg and, um, you know, export that. And then you can import it back into GIMP whenever you want. So just click import path, go find your SVG file and import it. And then it should put it right back in this paths dialog. So you can treat it as a path, you can make selection out of it, stroke it, do whatever. Um, and actually, um, wow, this was very, um, you know, much easier than I thought it would be. Um, I guess this is it for this tutorial. Um, oh, wait, 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 whoops. I forgot to tell you what locking it meant. Um, okay. So I'm just going to um, do a really quick example. Let's say I have, yeah, this is a good idea. So if I have both of these paths visible, and I lock one of them, and I lock this layer, let's say I try to do something like scale this layer. Um, what it's going to do, if I click scale, it's going to scale, it's going to like, uh, as you can see, now they're um, now these paths aren't identical. One of the paths scaled with the image, and the other didn't. The one that scaled was the one that was locked right there with the actual layer that you scaled. It'll um you can do this with color channels too. I think I don't know, but um yeah, that's basically what it does. You can lock. Um, I'm not sure if you can do this with layers, but I guess you can like, lock layers together. You can lock layers and paths together. Um, so if you scale a layer, it'll scale the path with it too. So um, yeah, that might be uh, useful sometime in the future. So um, there. Um, and that actually is, um, like, I guess that's it for this tutorial. Um, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.